Now we're going to create some internal walls. So let's change our layer to the A-Wall-Interior. Make that one current. Let's draw the polyline again and pick here. And we're going to draw it all the way down to here and enter. Offset, six inches for the interior walls. Pick it and bring it in. Now let's offset again, 12 feet. We'll come up here. Now let's use the extend command. Extend this line to there. And now we need to offset it six inches. Pick it and bring it down. Let's use the match properties command, MA. Press enter. Select the source object that we want to copy. Now the destination. And there we go. Let's offset some more. Let's go one foot four. Bring that over here. Offset three foot four inches. That's going to be a doorway. Let's offset again, 12 feet. Enter. Let's draw a line here from the midpoint of this line. Draw it out just arbitrarily, as long as it crosses through there. Offset it three feet, one up top, and one down below. Okay, now we're going to need to match the properties again of this wall to these two lines. Now, let's trim. And I've saved the trim command to the last, after I drew all these lines in, so that I can do one trim command and get all of these together. Trim those two. Get rid of all of these. That one. Here, here. And there. And let's erase that one. Okay, so we have our exterior wall and our interior wall. Now we want to hatch one of our walls. So let's change our layer again. Go A dash walls hatch. Start the hatch command. Let's type in hatch. Press enter. And the hatch settings that we want to use are pretty specific. I want to use the ANSI 131, which is right here. I want to use it at 30 degrees and a scale factor of 10. We'll see if we need to make those adjustments later. But we're going to pick points internally. We're going to pick this wall here, all the exterior walls. A boundary can't be determined. That's OK. We'll figure this out later. You see those little red circles? It says right there and right there that there's an opening that it can't figure out. Sometimes it's fine, and you just need to do it again. Sometimes when you zoom in really close, it messes things up. For whatever reason, AutoCAD can't figure it out. So just zoom out and try again. And there we go. Those are our hatch patterns. But I don't like that scale. I want to change it a little bit. Let's change it to 20. It's a little better. When you're finished, press Enter. OK, we need to do one more thing. We need to put in one more wall. Let's go offset two feet, press Enter, pick this line, and there's our movie screen. Only it needs to be on an interior wall. So we'll do a match properties and go. Many times it's even easier to use the match properties command to get the line work to look the way you want it to than it is to constantly have to set and reset your current layer before you draw new line work. Once you put something in on a specific layer, the match properties layer is real easy to use. Just a few clicks and you can get your line work the way you need it to. Okay, so now we've created the majority of our model, the majority of the line work here. Next, we're going to put in some of the blocks and use the array command.